Hey, it's Anna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Giller. I went to an estate sale this morning. Today is Saturday, May the 6th. Um, I went to one estate sale and one thrift store and I picked these items up. I have informa new information on this I want to tell you about in just a minute. That's why that's laying there. But this is jewelry I found either at the estate sale or the thrift store. I'm going to get started again. Um, today is Saturday, May the 6th and I will be on at 12 p.m. Eastern time. You may see this video after my sale, probably will, but I'll be selling some of the items in today's sale, <laughs> as well as on Wednesday, May the 10th. I will be coming on one hour earlier because we have a meeting about my daughter's band trip next year that I must attend. It's mandatory. So next week on Wednesday, May the 10th, I'll be on at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Today, 12 p.m., like I said, you're gonna see us after the fact, ha ha ha. No, I'm joking. Okay, let me get started. At the estate sale, I didn't think I found a whole lot until I popped this and and look this up this is a james avery uh seraphina angel ring okay let me show you it has the kendra labra back there and 925 in bronze the border here is bronze the rest is Sir sterling this is a retired piece of port according to my quick research um i will look at it up further this will may come wednesday or go on ebay or both you know, depending on if it sells or not. But James Avery, Serafina Angel Ring. It's pretty amazing. I was, the estate sale was worth going for that. I didn't, I mean, I didn't find as much as I do at some, but this is amazing, I think. There we go. I found that. I found this. This is Mark 925. This, I think it's this banded agate, and that's a beautiful rainbow moonstone. It is Mark 925 up under here. It's open in the back. This is a like a southwestern piece. Amazing. I've been at least an inch and a half here, maybe bigger. You see the flash? There we go. I found that. Okay, this is Buffalo Turquoise. This is signed C N Sterling. The marking C N in here. It's upside down. C N Sterling. And I think it's like I say, it's Buffalo Turquoise conch ring. Sterling silver. Has like it looks like it has a little story on it. This is a size seven, and they're all around the size seven. That one's a seven and a half. These all came from the same place, so that's nice. This one's I gotta research that further. This is sage and the rainbow moonstone, a ruby, and a labradorite right there. And I don't know what this is, maybe obsidian. I don't know. I have to research it further, but it is Mark Sage in, in the back 925 right there. S-A-J-E-N 925. It's at least two inches, maybe a little bit bigger. I found these are Sarda, S-A-R-D-A. They are articulate. These are garnets. They're beautiful. They're signed in the back, like I said. Open for lighting. Very nice. All of this will be shown more thoroughly before my preview. This I found previously. This is not brand new. I mean, this is Alexis Batar, the block ring. Alexis Batar, block ring and matching earrings. The ring's not signed. The earrings are signed Alexis Batar back there. And they're, they're a perfect match. I saw the ring, wasn't sure. Um, I was looking, I'm like, it looks like Alexis Batar, and then I looked in the counter, I found these the other day at the thrift store, and I was like, it is, there's the earrings that are signed. Seven and a half on this. Alexis Batar Lucite block ring and matching earrings, signed earrings. This is like a light beige color there. Okay, so there's that. This bracelet, I, it's from the estate, so these, a little... Artwork, uh, lamp work, um, artisan glass beads. This looks like a planet that's metal around it. And sterling findings. I thought it was cute. I'll grab that. Um, right here, I've la this is, this is, all, I've never seen like different colors of, I've seen red and regular. This is like a blackish tiger eye here. So there are three different colors of tiger eye. There's the typical, a darker, and then a red. And I believe these are quartz, would be my guess on this. This is strung on silk with sterling findings. Look at the bright shines beautifully. Tiger eye, and I think that's quartz. I'm not sure. It's stone. This is sterling findings. I didn't expect to see a toggle on it, but there's a toggle clasp. It's, it's all sterling. And lapis. These are sterling beads. It's a beautiful lapis necklace. 
ultra long. I'm not really sure what this is yet. Okay, the stone. But it's really, really long and it's very smooth. Like green and white. See that? It's a long strand of stone. This is Lila Rose. L E L A. My find, first find. Sold in Neiman Marcus. We have brass signed L E L A Rose. Swarovski crystals and brass and silk tassels throughout. This is, has a brand new tag on it. Same Lila Rose. I looked it up and I'd seen it was being sold at Neiman Marcus. All sold out. But I, I found this as well. It's got a good weight to it. It's a nice quality piece. Look at this silks. It's beautiful. The, the tassel. All right. So um, I showed those. I showed. This is... Um, these snakes are next. These are belts or necklaces, according to the... I went on the D.L. Old. I found them. It's D.L. Old A.U.L.D. Mesh Snake. They, it's a belt, a necklace, and they say a bracelet, too, but that's a little big. Signed up under hair. Um, this is a like a top color, and then we have a lighter one, like beige, two different shades of beige. Very nice and flexible quality glass rhinestone eyes so there's their heads for nice details and they have the tails again d l old a u l d on those um i found a couple other necklaces this is all stone too uh yeah banded agate i think right and these are stone like topaz i believe i'll have to retest i thought this was crystal but i see a sheen i think it's glass Silver gold tone, but those are stones on there. And this is a beautiful um, bicone shaped uh, yellow. I don't see these very often, like an AB glass necklace. It's double strand. I think it's like 1960s or over. You see how it looks like vitreo glass, but uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I have to look at it better, but it's pretty. It's just class either way, right? Okay, so, and then this. This is for, like, if you wear uh, an ID at work, you can, beautiful glass strung on fabric and knotted in between their glass. And then you have this, like, you know, you hang your ID on there and rhinestones cluster. It's very pretty. It's a fast video. I always give a really thorough view when I'm doing my pre uh, previews and when I do the sales, I, I give a really you, uh, good preview. I don't really pre-sell any longer. I've stopped doing that, so everybody has an opportunity. This is Plastic West Germany. I thought it was going to be citrine glass, but I still couldn't pass it up. It's knotted in between with pla beads, and it's signed West Germany. It's a vintage West Germany plastic necklace. The last thing is this really cute little Avon treasure chest. Glass on the beads on the top or stones, whatever you want to call them. They're glass pieces, different colors. Signed Avon on bottom, I thought it was adorable. So that's it, you'll probably see this video before, oh, let me explain this. I put this on the Niger website um, page on Facebook. And it ha I when I put it on there, I didn't notice it said made Germany there, okay. But I thought that it looked like Niger according, I've had one previous piece, I probably had a lot more, but that I recognized and put on there and they confirmed for me. So at first somebody said West Germany and I saw made Germany, so I was like, okay. Well, the administrator who's an expert of that uh, page, it's on Facebook, she said it was Niger signed Germany for export, okay. And, um... So it could be exported to Germany from, they were um, in Czechoslovakia, right? The brothers, I don't know the exact town, but sad story about the Niger brothers. I just read up on it. They, they actually died during the Second World War. They were sent to a camp. So anyways, this I will offer on Wednesday at a price I would like. If it doesn't sell, I'll keep it and research it further and find, try to find it in a book or something like that. And then I will put it on eBay or whatever. But it's quite beautiful. All right, so that's what I have. I'll be on at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Like I said, you'll probably see this video after I've come on. Um, hope to see you Wednesday. I'll be on at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Again, I'll be one hour later because of my daughter's, uh, you know, we have to go to the band thing and take care of that. But thank you so much. Have a good day.